What's up guys, I wanted to do a quick video to let you know about a series of games that just came up for pre-order that some of you may be interested in. Retrobit, the company that recently has done the Genesis and Saturn wired and wireless controllers that I featured on my channel, has another arm of their business called Published by Retrobit, which reissues games from past generations. They've already done a few games across Nintendo systems, and they have turned their attention to some pretty epic shoot-'em-ups that were released on the Sega Genesis, called Toa Plan Shooters Collector's Edition. This is a special reissue that covers four shoot-'em-ups from the venerable Toa Plan. There is Truxton, Hellfire, Fire Shark, and Zero Wing, now back in cartridge form with lots of extras. Before we get into that, let's take a look at these games individually and see exactly what you're getting here. The first game in the set is Truxton, which was originally released in the arcade in 1988. Called Tetsujin in Japan, it's a traditional vertically scrolling shooter that has a handful of power-ups, a trio of bombs to help you out of a jam, and a hardcore challenge that takes some serious dedication to overcome. In 1989, it made its way home to Sega's brand new 16-bit system in what was a hell of a good port particularly for a tiny 4-meg cart. It has numerous differences in color, animations, and sound, but is no less impressive for a title patterned after an arcade game that was released only a year before. A lot of the appeal of this one is in its soundtrack, which has that great early Genesis twang to it, and it really adds to the atmosphere of the gameplay. This one complete in box tends to go around the $100 mark, so collecting it in this modern environment can be expensive, even for the Japanese Mega Drive release. In 1989, Toa Plan did Fire Shark, a more earthbound and less science fiction-y version of Truxton. It is again vertically scrolling, gives you bombs for the tough times, and has similar power-ups. It also has great little landing sequences in between the stages, and again, you gotta love the music. In 1990, the Genesis received a port, and again, that port was very well done. The 4-meg cart was back, and yet it still has just about everything that made the arcade game great. The power-ups are here, the wreckage and burn spots are here, and the Genesis did an admirable job with the music. The enemies here have a real Galaga style of attack patterns, as in they like to swoop in from the sides and do circles to limit your flight path. It makes for a great game that challenges you a little differently than Truxton, but no less fun. It's another one that can be expensive to collect. One of Toa Plan's more unique releases was 1989's Hellfire. This horizontal shooter was slower, more methodical, and challenged your mind as much as your reflexes. This one gives you the ability to control your shots across multiple directions, and then further powering up those abilities. Screen position becomes a major concern because enemies are typically in areas that require you to cycle through your angles often. There is also boss battles that require you to take advantage of this and feels really different from the other games at the time. When the Genesis version released the following year, it took the expected hits in color, but again, that 4-meg cart does an impressive job replicating the arcade game. The gameplay makes the transition damn near one-to-one, -one, and that Genesis sound chip is singing away with tons of different melodies, and while it may be an acquired taste, I absolutely loved it. It's another one where you'll pay close to $100 for a complete original version. The final game I want to talk about is Zero Wing, the 1989 horizontal shoot-'em-up that really expanded the gameplay of Toa Plan shooters. It relies on satellites that can be used as shields to protect your ship, 
and you have access to a few power-ups from that that range from lasers and homing missiles. It also allows you to capture enemies and use them as shields and even throw them as weapons. Add in some huge boss battles and some memorable music and you had a hell of a good time. The 1991 Genesis version wasn't just a solid port, but it also spawned one of the earliest internet memes I can vividly remember. This one jacked the card up to 8 megs, and despite taking some hits in color, special effects, and background detail, it still looks the part in the soundtrack nails that Toa Plan feel the other games did so well. The famous opening with the awful English translation was actually only in the European release, as the arcade didn't have an intro at all. Now that you know what these games are, you'll better understand what this package actually is. You get all four of the Sega Genesis versions we just went over, and each one contains some really nice additions if you care about collector-style extras. Each cartridge is translucent with its own custom color, and includes an embossed slipcover for the case. The instruction manual is full color, and you get some stuff like reversible covers, collector cards, and a sticker sheet with images from the games. If you want some more hardcore additions, you get those as well. Hellfire has been fixed to work properly on the Sega Genesis 2, and all 30 endings have been added in English to Zero Wing. If you get the full pack of games, it comes with a display case for all of them as well. If you are in the position of already owning some of these, they are available individually. The games are priced at $45 a piece, or you can get the entire set for $160. I'm talking to Retrobit currently trying to get an advanced copy of these releases to show you, so hopefully in the coming weeks I can do a full-on unboxing for you. I always love recommending official reissues like this, not just because it helps grow the companies that do them, but it gives people interested in these games a chance to get them at reasonable prices. As far as I'm concerned, eBay can go to hell. If you collect for the Sega Genesis, these are four early games in its life very much worth owning. Check the description for links, and I will catch you next time.